We may soon have a new weapon in the fight against COVID-19. An FDA advisory panel has voted to recommend emergency use authorization for a new pill called Molnopiravir. Drugmaker Merck says the pill can reduce the relative risk of hospitalization or death by about 30%. Joining us now is Dr. Elia Barr. He is the Senior Vice President of Global Medical and Scientific Affairs at Merck. Uh, sir, thank you so much for being with us here today. This is a, certainly a big deal. This, uh, however, was narrowly recommended 13 to 10. You had some advisors that had some reservations. So I know that there are going to be some people who have concerns about this drug. What do you say to that? Well, I think it's really important to have as many tools in our toolkit to fight the COVID-19 pandemic. We see that this is a very unpredictable uh, pandemic and uh, we're, we're very confident that this will be a really important addition. Okay, so this is an addition to the tool chest, as you put it, obviously. The efficacy here is 30%. So look, that's, I mean, that is definitely something, right? But I wonder if you are looking for ways to make it higher than 30%. Well, there's a few things to consider. First of all, the, the first analysis uh, showed efficacy around 50%. And this was the, the primary analysis, this, the analysis that we stood by for the, for the study. Certainly, uh, another piece of information was that uh, mortality remain, benefit remained very high. So only uh, the majority of people who died on the study were in the placebo group, the great majority. So I think that it's important to remember that this is a very important medicine uh, that will be very useful for people to prevent the signs and symptoms and terrible complications that can occur with COVID-19. Okay, and then on Omicron, which obviously is a different variant, do you know how effective Molnupiravir is against Omicron? Well, Omicron is, is different from the other viruses because of the spike protein, and that's not where the this drug works at all. The drug works in a completely different part of the virus, and the genetic uh, makeup of Omicron hasn't changed in that area. So we anticipate that the drug will be quite effective against Omicron, but ongoing work will tell us for sure. Yeah, no, that's really interesting. And then on transmission, does it, does it help limit or stop transmission of the virus? Well, we're going to be looking at that. We have a clinical trial going on uh, right now in people who uh, have been exposed to someone with COVID but don't have COVID quite yet and see whether taking molnupiravir will reduce their risk of acquiring COVID. So that's something that's uh, in the works, and we hope that that'll be an important additional benefit of the drug.